If you've ever felt disoriented on the water or lost your way in the woods, you can appreciate the value of the compass. Instead of navigating by landmarks or being guided by the stars, you can find your way with this tool, which dates to the 4th century, and reliably points in the direction of north. The Chinese are credited with building the earliest compasses with lodestone, a magnetic form of the mineral magnetite, which reacts consistently with Earth's magnetic field and exhibits natural north-south polarity. Today's magnetic compass works off that same concept, a small lightweight magnet called a needle sits on a frictionless bearing and reacts to Earth's magnetic field. The relatively weak magnetic pole created by the north and south poles causes the tip of the needle to reliably point north. It works because scientists theorize that there is a magnetic core consisting mostly of molten iron at the center of our planet. This core creates radiating convection heat that moves in a rotational pattern as Earth turns on its axis, producing a low-level magnetic field. The theory, however, has not yet been proven definitively. Over centuries, the compass was developed into the small, portable device we recognize today. Small as it is, its impact on history has been invaluable. Since the most efficient way to move goods and supplies was over water, being able to safely and accurately navigate allowed countries to generate wealth through trade. In addition, seafarers were able to explore increasingly distant shores, learn new cultures, and establish colonies. The technology of the early compasses also inspired the study of magnetism and laid the foundation for work in electrostatics and resulting discoveries in electromagnetism opened the door wide for telecommunications. 